pricing predictions, uh, what's going to happen in the shorter or medium term from one to two years. Um, and a lot of that is based on interest rates. There's a lot of unknowns. I, I'm the first to admit that. I do get asked a lot what I think is going to happen in the market. So I'll just give my predictions. But, you know, I, I don't think anyone can predict any market ever. So um, you're just lucky if you get it right. But um, yeah, I'll give you my predictions anyway. Um, <clears throat> I will say long term, uh, I think this is a great place to be in if you're looking for long term price appreci appreciation. Right now in Fort Bend County, there's 900,000 people and um, it's expected to climb to 1.8 million by 2050. So it's hard to be wrong if you buy here, even if you uh, don't time things quite right. Uh, let's see, what was I gonna show you? Uh, well, for right now, I just tell you that I just did uh, third quarter uh, market updates for various cities around here. Plus, I just saw the AJR release for Houston. Prices have still climbed year over year. <clears throat> Number of transactions is definitely down, but um, prices are still climbing. There's just such a low amount of inventory. So, yeah, let me show you a chart here. County, um, net domestic migration, this is net international migration, and this is natural increase, that's uh, births minus deaths, I believe. So um, yeah, you can see Fort Bend County, County growing rapidly, and then Harris County uh, actually losing a little bit of people um, from domestic, domestic migration, but uh, you can see how many births are happening in Harris County, that's, that's crazy. And also international migration are more than making up for that. And then over here, we have Montgomery County growing quickly as well. Um, so yeah, let me jump into my predictions. So, okay, this is rates going down and prices going up. I used to oh, move this up here. I was thinking that um, this was unlikely or sorry, this is more likely before. But uh, Jerome Powell, uh, Federal Reserve Chairman, just said today, um, He's gratified by the progress, but they still have a long way to go. So I don't see rates going down um, anytime soon. It, they're going to stay up for longer. It appears that way. So unless there's a recession, which I cover down here. So I, I don't see this as likely. I used to think this is more likely. So I'm only giving this a 10% chance that uh, rates go down and prices start going up over in the next year or two. Rates up and prices down. Um, I'm calling this 20%. Uh, it just seems like rates won't climb that much more. Um, if they do, then it might start hitting prices, but um, we still have that low inventory issue. There's just not a lot of inventory. A lot of homeowners staying where they are. Um, rates down and prices down. I see this is much more likely. This is the recession scenario at 30% I'm calling it. Uh, yeah, it's just, I think like we've been on the edge. People have been calling for thinking we're heading into a re recession for a while now. Um, it just seems more and more likely. So I'm calling that 30% chance. Rates go down and prices go down. And then the last one, uh, which I'm calling 40% chance, rates go up or kind of stay elevated where they are and prices go up. So um, high rates keep pressure on sellers to stay and keep where they are, stay, keep their house and not move and take on a new high, high cost mortgage. Right now, 61% of the mortgages in the U.S. are under 4% and 82% are below 5%. So I see this as the most likely outcome in the next year or two. Prices, things just stay where they are. Prices increase a little bit or stay where they are and rates increase a little bit or stay where they are. And I'll just show you a little wild card scenario. The mortgage in the US, 42%. I was really surprised when I saw that number. I didn't realize it was that high, but uh, this is owner occupied homes in the US. Um, so plus you add in the people that have uh, a mortgage, but they have a low balance. So they're not too worried about the uh, losing their low interest rate. It's not like they're going to be paying it for the next 20 or 30 years. So these people um, have a lot more freedom to move. Uh, they do tend to be older people. Um, so people are more aging in place these days. But yeah, these people aren't as affected. So they might not be as um, reluctant to move 
as uh, people that have a long-term mortgage on their home. But um, yeah, so anyway, these are my predictions. Uh, I'm interested to see which one plays out. Um, I mean, there's probably some unknown factor that's gonna pop up and completely change things, but if anyone's asking me, these are my guesses. It's not a straightforward answer, of course, and unfortunately, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, um, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any comments. Um, love to hear more. Thank you. Bye.